We now know the where and the when, but the who, still anybody's guess. Donald Trump announced on Twitter he will reveal his running mate tomorrow morning here in New York City. But who will it be? Our Decision 2016 team is hard at work trying to find that out this morning. Let's start with NBC's Hallie Jackson with the latest. Hallie, good morning. Hi there, Savannah. Good morning. Donald Trump today getting ready to reveal to the world who his pick for the presidential ticket may be. Publicly, he's saying that privately he's down to the last couple, two or maybe three finalists. Trump is waking up on the West Coast this morning for a fundraiser in California, but he is in a New York state of mind. That's where that announcement will be. This race for the running mate now in the sprint to the finish line. Just over 24 hours from now, the biggest decision so far of Donald Trump's candidacy. I want to pick somebody who's solid, who's smart. Uh, I'm not looking for an attack job. Trump's team taking advantage of a few extra hours in the Hoosier state because of plane repairs to meet with contender Newt Gingrich, who was flown to Indianapolis on a private jet to talk with Trump. Travel facilitated by Fox News host Sean Hannity, according to sources familiar with it. Gingrich now predicting it's down to him and Pence. Uh, he clearly, I think, is down to two because he's got two really good but really different choices. And I think it'll be interesting to see you know, I'm not, certainly I'm one of the people who will be sitting by the phone waiting. Those comments coming after Trump met privately with Indiana Governor Mike Pence over breakfast, joined by his children Ivanka and Don Jr. The character and, and caliber of, of his children is truly inspiring, and it was, it was an honor for us, whatever the outcome, to have been able to spend time with them. Sources close to the campaign tell NBC News Pence and Gingrich, along with Chris Christie, who spoke by phone with Trump this week, top the short list, though the decision's ultimately up to Trump alone. And in the midst of an intense week, a potentially distracting twist. Trump now filing a $10 million arbitration claim against a former campaign aide, Sam Nunberg, accusing him of trying to spread suggestive rumors about senior campaign staffers. Thank you all very, very much. Please Through it all, seated. Hillary Clinton not letting up here. out with a new ad this no. morning showing like children watching of clips of her rival. Somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. Clinton hoping to capitalize by keeping the conversation about kids. When kids are scared by political candidates and policy debates, it's a sign that something has gone badly wrong. But it's a different kind of focus on family for the Trumps this morning, with these exclusive Time Magazine photos and story highlighting the Trump children's high-profile positions as some of their father's most trusted advisors, helping to vet the VP pick. The selection suspense now nearly over. And while we know that Trump's children will be speaking here at the GOP convention in Cleveland next week, we are now learning more about who else will take this stage. A senior campaign official confirming to me this morning that Tim Tebow will be one of the speakers, uh, along with other notable names. You've got people like, for example, UFC head Dana White, actor Antonio Sabato Jr. as well. But still notable names not on the list, Matt and Savannah. For example, Governor Mike Pence not on the speaker's list to come out and address the crowd. Neither is Bobby Knight, who Trump has long said could be one of the options. Matt, Savannah? All right, we know you'll keep watching it. Hallie, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.